Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. Today for the first time in Myth Busting we are going to be using a mod to help us do our testing. In the last episode I talked about how difficult it would be to test every mob in the game to see what happens when they get struck by lightning. That is what we are going to be doing in this episode and that has been made possible by fellow YouTuber Tango Tech of the Moonlight server. He has written a mod that is going to allow us to strike lightning where we want by throwing a snowball and where it lands lightning will strike. Now this mod only changes how we make the lightning strike. It does not alter any code that would cause something to happen to a mob when it is struck by lightning so we know our results will be correct. So our testing will be straightforward. We will be testing the mobs one by one and we will strike them with lightning for what will be an electric time lapse. That was a lot of testing and a lot of unexpected results. Turns out there are some interesting things happening with lightning. I also tested this on the Ender Dragon which I didn't include in the time lapse and lightning doesn't affect it at all. But first let's look at the results we came here to find out. There were two mobs that changed when struck by lightning. The pig turned into a zombie pigman without a sword and the creeper turned into a charged creeper. An interesting thing we learn here is that the charged creeper takes damage like a regular creeper meaning it can also be killed by a lightning strike. Another interesting result of our testing were the nether mobs. None of them took any damage and the wither skeleton would look like it was on fire but it wouldn't be taking any damage. The most interesting result of all was the witch. It took damage at first but then it would drink a fire resistance potion and become immune to both the lightning strike and being on fire which prompted me to do some investigation and with the help from Guy Ryan looking into the game code we have some interesting information about the lightning strike. So what are we looking at right here? This is the area that is affected by a lightning strike. The red block represents where the lightning hits the ground and the effect area is the glass. It is three blocks in each direction from where the lightning strikes and six blocks upwards. Now when I was doing my testing I was suspicious that mobs who were further away from the lightning strike 
would take less damage, but the code says that this is not the case. All damage dealt by the lightning strike in this area is consistent. The lightning deals 5 fire damage to the mob, which is why never mobs didn't take any damage at all, and then it sets them on fire for 8 seconds. This area is also the same for converting a creeper into a charged creeper, or a pig into a pigman, and I should also point out that lightning destroys items too. So I know some of you have probably been wondering about villagers turning into witches in 1.8 and as I mentioned last episode testing in snapshots is not something we normally do because some features may not be final but I thought I would show you this anyway it is very likely it will stay in the game and in the background here you can see a test I did earlier. We have the villagers in a big pen and in the middle of a thunderstorm and one of them has been struck by lightning and turned into a witch. But that is going to be it for this video. If you have enjoyed it please do leave a like it will always be appreciated. And a big thanks to Tango Tech for making this mod. He has an awesome show called Breaking Bites where he mods the game to do crazy and awesome things that wouldn't be possible in the vanilla game. I would highly recommend checking it out. There is a link on the screen and in the description box. But that is it for this episode of Minecraft Myth Busting. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.